<laughs> All right, we are back. Not on our scheduled time, but you know what? Friday night, we had more technical difficulties than I was able to not only fix, but to... We just had more crap. Let's start over. We are starting over for our week on Game Radic Weekly early. Uh, instead of doing things on Monday night, we're starting here on Sunday night and do, redoing our Friday night's show. Um, for some weird reason, our game was in muted the entire time we were playing, and not only was it not showing up in the recording, but it just, uh, I don't know. Like, none of the viewers were commenting on not hearing the game, and so it's just, like, the oddest thing. Like, I could see my microphone going up and down, and I could see um, other little movements and stuff like that in my uh, OBS studio and whatnot, but the entire time, not a single viewer was mentioning the lack thereof in the <laughs> video game department. It's like, uh... Are these actual viewers? Are these people like putting bots in place to kind of deter people from coming here in the first place? So I cannot fix this. So what we're going to do tonight, because it's Sunday night and it's not usually one of our uh, playing days. Um, we are going to replay the chapters we played on Friday so that you know, you guys aren't missing any of the content. And from there, try to... What was I going to say? Um, we're not going to redo the unnecessary missions and stuff like that. We'll do the missions that are content-related and everything. And uh, see how far we can get. Because, yeah, that was so stupid. We had two and a half hours where... We were just blowing through the story and getting so much done. And it was like, you know, we're, we're having a pretty uh, eventful evening. And yet nobody stepped forward to say, dude, your, your, your game's not even cutting out. It's, it's non-existing. And it's like, thank you. That, that really helped. Um. But this time I made sure that, you know, everything was working and... Speaking of which, I better hit that button to make sure that that's working. Okay, and that's working. Load's complete. Yeah, and it's not like it cut out, like we had an episode on um, Chrono Trigger weeks ago where I was playing the game and we got all the way up to um, this fight with General Ozzy and his guys on the bridge and we had to bring the jerky and everything like that. And so we were about 15, 20 minutes into the game and... Someone was nice enough to be like, Josh, we can't hear you. And it's like, shit, thank you. You know, we could have gone the entire show without having any sound because of a, uh, you know, simple problem. And yet, you know, but this sort of thing takes a lot of, uh, Snake. You're north of the village. The truck carrying the nukes is heading towards the heart of the mountain. That's its up, final so. destination. We've got no intel on what lies beyond, so stay sharp. So last week we ended with blowing up a fence, but I didn't add that in the mission just because, you know, who wants to see Leia C4 charge, blow it up, and see mission complete? Yeah, we got a lot done. We got the pupa battle done. We got this whole part done, but... Cross 
the bridge and head north. Gotta watch your crosshairs, cause what is your it? mom. The enemy's attacking! The enemy's attacking! Going to alert status! Understood. Dispatching no. reinforcements. Proceed with extra caution. There we go. There we go. What is it? Get up! Oh, we're down. Get up! Somebody's here! Enemies close by! That was not in the Understood. Eliminate all hostiles. Where the hell is number three? Gotta be careful with that gun. Some of these guys wearing helmets and the whole thing just got a hand. Real fast. Bolton recovery subject confirmed onboard helicopter. right we got to watch how many of these Fultons we're using because you're gonna come across a POW and not have one and then you're gonna need it and not have it good you reached the transport route follow it to their base Someone attacking? My, my silence is gone. Just fall asleep. What's that? The enemy's attacking! Going to alert status! Understood. Dispatching reinforcements. Proceed with extra caution.
is HQ. I'm gonna be terrible. I'm not going to even get a B this time. Contact lost. Going to alert status. Understood. The enemy should still be nearby. Find him. Molten recovery HQ. helicopter is complete. All clear. Understood. Stay vigilant. Get up. Get up. There. How many do I have left? You know what? No. We are not going to do any more. Because... Yeah, we're going to find at least one more POW, and then we're not going to have it. Then that need it, not have it thing's going to come up again. And I'll be calling myself an idiot. You have to get through that fort. Their base is beyond it. I've already spelled my suppressor, so... Yeah. No, no, no. You didn't see me. Because I know you're up so somewhere. Shh. That's right. They're up there somewhere. And I forgot that they're up there. Because I'm an idiot. And I don't have a gun to take them out with. Ooh. I got him to come down here. Even better. His buddy is out of... No, he's got two stars left. Let's get. <laughs> Think you saw something? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. Wait, 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 who saw me this time? Is there a third one up there? Can't be Shut imagining up. things. Oh, he is up there. Wait. Come on. Can't be imagining you are imagining things. things. So you should come down here. Wait. Somebody Am I really going to have to... The enemy's here! That is a big tub of bull. We found the enemy! Send back up! Understood. Dispatching the reinforcements now.
right, that works. I let them both to me and got them both knocked out. And there should be someone around here. HQ, come in! This is HQ. This is patrol. Target lost. Going to alert status. Understood. The enemy should still be nearby. Find him. There we go. There's another POW. Bolton recovery subject confirmed onboard helicopter. All right. Okay. Guys, I'm inside the facility. There's rows and rows of trucks here. All right. If that's where they brought the nukes, then the truck we're after should be there. I look in. Snake, can you tell which one of the trucks brought the nukes? One of them must have the same license plate as the one from the terminal. Mr. Kojima? What's up, bro? Metal Gear. This is the one. The exhaust still warm. The cargo's already been offloaded. Just a minute. This isn't what we agreed on. It's too late. The changes have already been finalized. You told me it was going to be a deterrent that we wouldn't have to launch. I am not arguing with you, Doctor. Our goal is to create the perfect deterrent. That's why I agreed to help develop it. Mm. Oh, hello, Dr. Emmerich. However, in order to achieve that perfect deterrent, we must show the world our strength. Three key principles ensure effective nuclear deterrence. First, you must have nuclear weapons. Second, you must never use them first. And third, and most important, if someone attacks you, you must strike back. Unless we prove beyond a doubt that these three principles work in practice, the world will not accept our new deterrent. And the only way to do that is to show them we are capable of actually launching a nuke. But isn't deterrence supposed to stop nukes from being used? Exactly. And so the one we launch will be the last one ever. I won't let you use my creation like that! <laughs> your creation? <laughs> that thing wasn't even your idea to begin with. You stole it, didn't you? <clears throat> stole it? You're one to talk! You got the idea for bipedal locomotion from the communists in the first place! You listen to me, Doc. Keep quiet. Do as I say. Not another word about stolen ideas. Should we succeed here, you'll be the toast of the scientific community. And your name will go down in history as champion of both progress and national security. The hell with that! Doctor! Unless we prove we're capable of launching, Peace Walker is useless as a deterrent. You gotta make sure it works. You used me! We used each other. I'll get my old director's job back at headquarters, and you'll finally be able to walk tall among your colleagues. Uh, I won't let you get away with this! How unfortunate. Guess I'll just have to take your legs for myself! Peace. 
peace won't just come to us, Doc. We are going to have to meet it halfway. V for victory. Yeah. Wait! <laughs> hey, you okay? Don't do it! Snap out of it! Where are the nukes? He's gonna do it! He's gonna launch a nuke! Seeing as how we've already done this, this shouldn't be too hard and should be much more of a walk in the park. Yeah, I see. Stop getting caught, you idiot. Cutscene interaction bonuses. Oh, like when it says whoosh and stuff, I think you're supposed to be swiping the uh, controller stick in different directions. And then when you see like right trigger and left trigger and everything like that, you got to pull it at the right times. Ooh, heroism increased by 500. I'll take that. Got two POWs, nice. And we're just gonna continue right on with the with the game because again had I not screwed up on Friday night, we wouldn't be doing this here on Sunday. So, sorry again to everyone who was watching on Friday and couldn't hear a single thing that was being done. Careful, Snake. I've never seen anything like that, and I've got no idea how to bring it down. Maybe the scientist knows. However you do it, take that thing out. I think we'll be fine. Rations, got all that stuff. I don't have a lot to choose from. Okay, so I guess we're just... We're golden at this point.
the pupa. It's fast, so be careful. Another one the game gives you advice when you're doing it just lying on your own. Grab that stuff before it disappears. Whoa! Look at that thing move! I amaze myself sometimes! I thought I was going to miss that for a second there. <laughs> that went a lot smoother than it did on Friday, I'm going to tell you right now. Pull out all the AI's memory boards before the pod's ejected. The black memory boards are locked. Go after the boards with icons over them. You can unlock memory. 
memory boards by destroying the mechanical components that they control. Any boards you remove can be used to build our own AI weapon. Memory boards have different functions according to the icons displayed over them. Go ahead and take whichever ones you want. Oh, we didn't get them all. That was an unmanned weapon. A prototype. I made it myself. Who are you? I work here. Well, used to, anyway. Name's Hugh. And who might you be? You don't look like one of those mercenaries. Me. I'm uh, an entomologist. A fighting entomologist? Yeah, I specialize in butterflies. I'm here to catch Ulysses. Ulysses? Huh. I didn't think they lived in Costa Rica. Morphos, maybe? That's it. I uh, need to get some before the Washington Treaty goes into effect. Says here Morphos aren't covered under the treaty. Uh, must have slipped my mind. You sure you're feeling all right? Anyway, long story short, the butterfly got away. So how about it, Doc? Did you make that big butterfly, too? Uh, yes. And no. And no. What was that thing? What was that thing? What are they doing here? Huh. Something tells me you're no ordinary entomologist. The nukes were loaded on that machine. The project's entering its final phase. Project. That's right. The thermonuclear warheads they brought in, the bases scattered throughout Costa Rica, the mercenaries, the AI weapons, the research we were conducting here. It's all for this. We used this facility to develop unmanned weapons. Unmanned? Robots. The one you just fought was a pupa. There's also a flying type called Chrysalis, and a treaded type, the Cocoon. Well, the pupa's a treaded type. Motor control, target detection, tracking, attack, capture, and transport functions are all controlled by an electronic brain. There's no need for a human pilot. They can only follow simple commands, though. Why build them here? For the CIA. They invited me here a year ago. That's who that guy was. CIA's station chief for Central America. Goes by the name of Hot Coldman. Apparently he was some sort of hero back at the height of the Cold War. He's the one running the show. We called it the Peace Walker Project. Peace Walker. They're going to deploy a new type of nuclear weapon along the Caribbean coast of Latin America. A mobile unmanned nuclear platform. Unmanned nuclear platform? A fail-deadly system that can automatically move into position and launch a retaliatory nuclear strike. It can move on its own, and stealth shields it from radar and satellite detection, drastically reducing the risk of it being destroyed in a preemptive strike. And this is the new deterrent? Supposed to be. The problem is the locomotion system. There's no dry season in the Caribbean. It rains all year round. The terrain is full of tropical rainforest. A lot of the time you can't even build a proper it's road. swamp ass. It's terrible. So I went back to where it all started. What's that? Legs. Walking power. 
a mobile launcher carrying a thermonuclear warhead even more powerful than the Soviet RDS 220s. That's Peace Walker. <sighs> Chico's Basilisco. We did the assembly and field testing here. A walking nuke. I sort of borrowed the original idea from behind the Iron Curtain. The missing link between infantry and artillery. Metal Gear. Metal Gear. But they'd actually need to deploy dozens of them. Coldman needs funding for that. And to get it, he's planning a test, which will also serve as a demonstration for the folks back at Langley. Wait, he's launching a nuke to prove that his perfect deterrent works? In his words, to prove that if someone attacks us, we will strike back. Put simply, nuclear deterrence is the idea of using nukes to keep nukes in check. If one side launches nuclear weapons, the other is sure to launch theirs in retaliation, which makes launching an act of suicide. In the end, neither side can use its nukes. It's thanks to this doctrine that the world's two superpowers have avoided all-out confrontation. Nuclear deterrence has brought us peace. At the very least, it's prevented another world war from breaking out. But the theory of nuclear deterrence exists only on paper. In reality, there's no guarantee that either side would follow through with retaliation. There's the chance that a preemptive strike could destroy all the missile bases, render them unable to retaliate. But the biggest flaw in the theory is that the decision to retaliate has to be made by human beings. Well, someone's got to flip that switch and Let me give you a real world key, example. right? Let's say country X launches first against country Y. If the people in charge of Country Y are like you and me, they're not going to be able to retaliate, knowing that they're effectively ending all human life. So then the weak link in nuclear deterrence theory is the uncertainty of retaliation. Bingo. And that creates a loophole Country X can exploit to launch the first strike. Which is why we designed the system to be unmanned. With Peace Walker, retaliation is certain. It chooses the appropriate target and launches a retaliatory nuclear strike every time without needing human input to make the call. Launching a nuclear strike against Peace Walker is tantamount to pushing the launch button against yourself. It closes the loophole in nuclear deterrence theory, rendering our friends in Country X completely unable to launch. What Coldman is saying is that to achieve this goal, we need to demonstrate that retaliation will be carried out by a machine. He will launch his nuke. And then his version of deterrence will be complete. And you believe him? I believe in peace through nuclear deterrence. Why? My father worked on the Manhattan Project. He put his whole life into that research. And all it created was this illusion of peace called deterrence. And then I was born. Unable to walk. Plutonium injection? I maybe? had no choice maybe not. but to face yeah, up to the nukes. But if they do end up launching, it'll all have been for nothing. They've got to be stopped. Where'd they take the warheads? to a base near the border. The final test is five days from now. Where's the base? You're gonna stop them? It's kind of a hike. And besides, there's a surefire way to halt the project. You see, Peace Walker isn't quite finished yet. What do you mean? It's missing one last critical structural component. The AI. It's brain. The reptile pod, the electronic brain I was working on, can only follow commands like, go there, attack that. I guess you could compare it to the human cerebellum. But for nuclear deterrence to work, it must function in place of a human decision maker. It needs something to analyze the huge volumes of data coming in and select an appropriate target for retaliation. Hence, it needs the high-level decision-making ability of a cerebrum. The mechanical cerebrum. The hardware configuration is modeled on the human brain, similar to the pod I worked on, but its role is completely different. Where's it being made? A research lab to the north. 
An AI expert named Dr. Strangelove is developing it. Very hush-hush. Dr. Strangelove? Strangelove was recruited from the States, too. In the field of AI, there's no one better, that's for sure. But man, what a basket case. She hates everybody. Go to the lab and destroy Peace Walker's cerebrum. I'm pretty sure they haven't finished the final calibrations yet. I'll lend you my ID card. It'll get you through security at the lab. Oh, and uh, one more thing. What's this? A letter of recommendation? Yeah, it's, um... It's from me to Dr. Strangelove. Don't read it, okay? Love letter. No. So what will you do now? I... I'm done with science. At this rate, I'm probably already halfway to hell anyway. Not so fast. Why not join us? Our place is outer heaven. You'd fit right in. Outer heaven? Yeah. I'm probably better suited to something like that than this paradise. Good. You get a free balloon trip for signing up. Enjoy it. You'll feel like a butterfly. You're an agent, right? Who do you work for? Me. I was a Cold War tool, same as you. Now I'm not so useful anymore, so they cut me loose. I don't answer to anyone. Call me Snake. Snake? The name seems familiar somehow. Yeah, it's probably just deja vu. See that there? Beyond the cloud forest? See those ruins? Yeah. That's where you'll find Dr. Strangelove's lab. A B, really? Alright, you know what? I'm not gonna complain. Good. I can't complain. Alright, let's get this thing kicked off and do a little bit more before the night is through, shall we? Um, All right. Snake, the doctor's safe here with us. Huey, how are you feeling? Never better. This is quite the pad you've got here, boss. I'm impressed. Call me Snake. Whatever you say. Like it or not, everyone here calls you boss. <laughs> by the way, if you're at all interested in improving your tech, by all means assign me to the R&D section. I'm pretty sure I'll be of some use. Once we have the necessary materials and blueprints, we can start work on that bipedal mech. I appreciate that, but are you sure you're okay with having your work used for war? I'm... Uh, I'll be using it to keep past mistakes in check. If I can help thwart the Peace Walker project, I'm happy to do it. <laughs> Deterrence theory, Huey style, huh? <laughs> Anyway, if you need any intel on the enemy's weapons or electronic brains, contact me. I've been given my own frequency. Sounds good to me, Doc. I'll do that. Good. Whatever the means, you must put a stop to their plans. Reports. Special report, report, report. Right, we'll return to Mother Base at this point. We've got guys to put into different pads and bases and everything. Deploy, deploy mercenary units to conflict zones requesting your services. Outer Ops menu. Alright. Oh, that's right, because we saw him in the uh, truck. I didn't know we could do that. That's freaking awesome. So I guess Friday night wasn't such a, a, a bad thing after all. We get Hideo Gajima as part of the team. Oh, hi, Ogozaimas. You'd be part of the team.
probably one of our POWs. Staff have not been assigned to a team. All right, all right. You're obviously going to R&D. Kojima-sama. Oh, do we put him in Intel or do we put him in Medbay? I think I'd have him better as a doctor. up by holy shnikes he goes up by what is that four or five no goes up by three and either or it goes up by three and either one i'm just yeah double digits <laughs> the big number surprises me because i'm an idiot So many guys just sitting in the waiting room. This is ridiculous. We talked about this on Friday, but we'll talk about it again. Um, double check all your teammates, because... In some cases, like Hornet here, he might be better off in the uh, mess hall than as a me member of the combat unit. Just look at those stats. Uh, but if he levels up a few more times, that might increase even more. Lobster here would be great in medbay. Let's just have him level up just a little bit more. Ocean Sunfish definitely looks like he will be a great addition to the med team. Yeah, so we got a few guys that are going to get moved around. Nah, 
was it? 37,000? And let's... I need a tutorial? Nah, we'll pick it up as we go along. Destroy the infantry unit, destroy the infantry combat unit, destroy infantry combat unit 2. Ooh, so I get to create teams and they're gonna go up against. Let's just see what happens. And then we'll, when we come back from our next, uh, let's verify the day and time settings on me. staring at the screen like a bum. Travel to conference. Snake, Peace Walker is the heart of the enemy's project. To prevent its completion, you'll need to either shut down or destroy the artificial intelligence that functions as its brain. According to Huey, that AI is now undergoing final calibrations in Strangelove's lab. It's inside a tropical cloud forest. 
slip in and terminate that AI before they ship it out. Snake, how's the mule treating you? Uh, at this pace, I should be there by tomorrow morning. You've got to hurry. The AI could be completed any time now. It would be nice to have a guide. Already on it. I've enlisted Pass to help you. She knows the jungle pretty well. Snake, I know you are an expert in survival, but you need to stay alert. You are in an ancient jungle so foggy, you can hardly see the trees. It is home to 2,500 species of plants, including 400 types of orchids. There are also 500 species of butterflies and over 400 species of wild birds. The bedrock is solid enough that Mayan ruins have miraculously survived centuries of earthquakes. Uh, an AI lab in a Mayan ruin. Who'd have thought, hey, Huey? My sentiments exactly. That doesn't mean security is any less tight, though. You still have the ID card I gave you, don't you? Mm, got it right here. That'll get you through the gate, no problem. After that, you're on your own. As long as the AI remains unassembled, Coldman's plans on ice. <laughs> what about security inside the lab? Well, it shouldn't be a problem for you. Strange Love demanded that the security presence inside the lab be kept to a minimum. It's not all good news, Snake. Coldman knows we're here. He's raised security in the area surrounding the lab. You'll be seeing a lot of that chrysalis UAV and a bunch of patrol Ready? choppers too. There may be scouts in the jungle lying in ambush. As you approach the lab, be extra vigilant. I'll be careful. Strangelove's lab is a few miles to the north. It won't be long before the AI is complete. Don't let that happen. All right. Careful. If there's enemy scouts around here, they'll be nearly impossible to see. Watch out. Enemy search may not spot enemies that are actively hidden. Now it's starting to look like Metal Gear uh, 3. Back when you're in the jungle and you're doing all the uh, camo swaps and everything like that to kind of hide and blend in with the surrounding Nothing here. foliage and everything. Where did he go? Well, he saw me, but I didn't see him. Somebody there? Nothing here. <laughs> Somebody. <laughs> Sorry, buddy, you're coming back with us. Fulton recovery to helicopter is complete.
Okay, that scared the crap out of me. I was like, is that a guy? No. That is. You know what? Let's see if I can't sneak up on him. There we go. Not a hundred percent, but you know, like a ninety seven, ninety six percent, maybe. He definitely didn't see me. I saw I saw that dummy right there and I was like, oh. Fulton recovery yeah. subject confirmed on board helicopter. I don't think there's going on it. Yeah. So do we go, I don't know, west prospectively and skip that whole big bubble? Or do we take the long way and find out what that is? And I don't know. The explorer in me is saying, let's go east and take the long route so Here. It's like you didn't even see me. But whatever. Fulton recovery to helicopter is complete. De la muerte? Okay. Yeah, that sounds that sounds promising. So let's go that way. Yeah, that sounds fun. Catch a butterfly, Mr. Entomologist. Okay, I was about to say, am I prepared for this mission? <laughs> Alright, that looks better. And A, I don't even think I've fired on more than one guy. Thanks for putting me on the R&D team, Snake. I'll cut to the chase. We've commenced development on our own bipedal weapon. The only thing is, we don't exactly have easy access to resources here. Yeah, unfortunately, we don't have the budget of a defense department behind us. 
I understand. That's why I want to ask you something. If you fight any more AI weapons, could you try to gather as many of their parts as you can? That would really make things go a lot smoother. Again, easier said than done. If anyone could do it, you can, boss. You single-handedly took out the pupa. True. Look, if you're not interested, I can just work with what we have here. I'm not trying to force you to take unnecessary risks. You're the boss around here. All right. No promises. But I'll think about it. Great. Also, each AI weapon has a head part that serves as the core of its armament. Recovering a head part will allow you to use the weapon associated with that part. But those guys won't go down without a fight, so don't get too preoccupied with this stuff. Don't worry. I'm not about to risk my life for a bunch of scrap. I would hope not. Uh, one more thing. Our new bipedal weapon needs a name. Good point. We can't keep calling it our bipedal weapon. I had a talk with Miller and we came up with Metal Gear Zeke. Metal Gear... Zeke? Yep. As you know, Metal Gear was coined by Gronin. And Zeke? It's a name the US military gave to Japanese aircraft that flew during World War II. Zeke was the Japanese Navy's best fighter plane. So are you okay with that, Snake? <sighs> sure. Fine by me. Miller was saying that an army without borders will need a deterrent against other countries. He's right. With Metal Gear, MSF can achieve true independence. Here's hoping. Let's just keep going with Mission Selector, because... Yeah, we're, we're getting so much done, and... I'm about to get my ass handed to me in a few of these battles, so... Um... the container and retrieve the items. Let's get this mission started. Complete the mission. Stuff I need, okay. Again, these missions usually don't have anything to do with the story, but gives you experience, gives your team a little bit of growth. About to say, how many times am I gonna miss before I land one on this guy? We're just gonna do a giant circle, aren't we? Molten recovery helicopter is complete. Yep, that goes outside. Recovery subject confirmed on board helicopter. Hey. Hey. Uh. Yeah, don't screw it up. No, 
one. I think we're going in circles. Huh. Nice. Now we've got to recover those supplies. Hurry. Oh. This isn't like the other mission. Okay. Last time I just had to blow up whatever it was and... Yes. Now get over to the goal. Which is not here this time. That's going to kill my time, not knowing where the recovery spot is. Oh, it's all the way at the beginning, because I'm an idiot. Yay! Mission complete. The folks back at Mother Base will be thrilled. Get an A. Because it was easy. Actually, we got to check that mission. See what happened to our guys that were put out on a... Uh There for a quick second, check to see if those four guys were taken out or if they were able to take on those. All right. see what happened Not bad at all. I'm gonna give my team more credit. Oh, and we get a whole bunch more. So let's. We'll leave you guys to that one.
should I be so confident in my team? You know what? I'm going to. Ooh, shit. Um... fair shall we won't we we only have one tank so we can only do so many of these ops at one time that's fine We'll do this in a little bit, actually. I'm getting too uh, wrapped up in the extras. We have a boss fight to get into, and I'm sitting here like, oh, I'm going to sit here and I'm going to play with this and that and this and that. It's like, no, you're about to get into a boss battle with a chopper. Snake, that's a hind. You've got to take it out somehow. Either neutralize the soldiers or bring down the chopper. Good luck. I'll get this. Um, got the 22, got the M60. Because I'm just going to go running in there and, and CQC those guys to the ground recovery as fast as I can. Because I haven't even developed half of the stuff yet. It's not like I've got good uh, sniping skills to take out the hind, so that ain't happening. Ah! Huh. 
surrounding. Go around! Neutralizes and you take them all out lethally. Still knocked out from the stars. Go, go. 
Seconds ago. Keep me loaded, keep me agile. Do not make me be cornered. Yeah, buddy. I just got to equip the RPG. I'm, I'm an idiot. I am so not an idiot. I probably could have done some heavy damage. Can I equip the RPG in this battle? No. That's fine. That's... Snake! There's so much more I wanted to learn from you. Snake! <laughs> Holy crap, we almost got that on the first try. Alright, well, we'll try it again. Um... Yeah, because... You're going at it alone? I'm like, yeah, I thought I was supposed to. I took out all the members. That's a hind. You've got oh, to take shit. it out somehow. Either neutralize the soldiers or bring down the chopper. Good luck. Alright. That's what I didn't do. I'm an idiot. Now I've got that much more damage I can do before I have to call in a supply uh, re recharge. And got my supply markers, got all that stuff. Bing, bing, boom. Let's do this. This time, 
I won't die. Well, fingers crossed. Yeah, because I pulled and recovered all those guys, and then he just dropped a whole other load of losers on me, and... That's fine, though. You want those special guys in your um, home team for really experienced dudes to level up uh, Mother Base, so... Eliminate that squadron oh, yes, stake. sir. Giving me full recovery. Okay. So, all right. This time we're not gonna get taken down. Get up, get up. That those those two RPGs alone is enough to Missile loaded and
What's going on, Snake? Report! What's your situation? Snake! <laughs> uh, shut up. Forget about the chopper for now. Just take out the truth. You shut the hell up. You don't need to tell me how to play with this.
sloppy. Yeah. Alright! <laughs> I was gonna say, we, I thought we were gonna have to use a um, sleeper on him. Or not a sleeper, but this one. A B? Okay. Probably because of the. Oh, I killed someone. Oh, the pilot, you idiot. Probably would have gotten better if I had the suppressed um, USP. I can't get the gun right in my head right now. I'm having a moment. Got it. Got seven from the extraction. Awesome. Captured MI 24A life remaining 24%. Science specs. 
Okay, well, I'm not complaining about any of that. Boss, I'm starting to wonder if recruiting the soldiers with the Fulton isn't a little heavy-handed. I already don't like where this is going. I think the voluntary approach could be more pragmatic. Technically, we're not a corporate entity, but at our size, that's not too far from the truth. We can't keep using guerrilla tactics to find new blood. To search for volunteers, <laughs> select recruit from the menu, or select trade to exchange yeah, soldiers with other mercenary units. Yeah, while we're at provided it. we got the friends for that. All right. I think after that battle, we are going to be done. We'll do some stuff at Mother Base and call it a night. Because we already got more than I intended to uh, on Friday night with redoing it here tonight. Um, bunch of stuff is clearing up through... Those must be all the guys from the uh, chopper mission we just took care of, but whatever. That's how it works. him in combat just because everything is so low him leveling up through everyone else's good deeds would actually do him some good that grizzly bear all right we're gonna put you in intel She is slowly recovering because she has guys seem to be coming in and out of med bay uh, rather uh, quick but it's probably because her story is so tied into to the to the game as well that is fine
Now does the ran does it randomize the weapon that they get to use? Three on one? I think we got this one. No, Snail is using an RPG every time. That was awesome. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, we don't. We shall. Keep our or, or don't we? I'm wondering if it's, it's gonna go in a minute here, so we'll find out. Not bad. Very well together put team for this. So yeah, that <laughs> I thought I was gonna lose at least a guy or two of that. But okay. Alright, so on the last little bit of this, let's get these guys. Oh wait, no, I guess we can't. We're going to have to go back. Oh, 
Bad Bay. Thousand pushing on ninety nine, okay. Supply marker. It's a nice rocket launcher, but... the opportunity to like repair it or anything. Not even Yeah, we're not even in the Yeah. Ton still to go before that's even an option. Um Yeah, it's getting late already. Now, nah, we're going to call it good there. Because next week when we start this, we're going to head into the uh, Strange Loves part of the saga, um, get all that done. Um, and as you can see, this game has tons of different features to it and how it plays. Um, we obviously aren't going to start doing more deployments. We'll save that for next week. Oh, we can do the same missions over and over again? Oh, so they're not going to go back to Mother Base until either they've run out of health or haven't... Okay, so... You're learning more. And so with that, we're going to call it an evening. I hope you all have a great 
uh, uh, week. We will be starting Monday with um, no, we 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 beat the rest of Bangayo on on Monday night. We had three levels take almost four hours. That game got to be so difficult in the latter levels. Um, but Treasure and ESP and uh, I'm, I'm running short on the on the names of the guys who put that game together. Put together a real fun game uh, for us to play. And I think we're going to go back to playing Ikaruga just because I'm just having an itch to play those 2D shooters right now. And you know, I, I'm not one to advertise or you know get one particular brand out there, but Ikaruga and Bangai are by the same... Uh, company and they're two great games and I suck at Ikaruga so we'll probably take a few more swings at that game before we uh, eventually quit but um, but if you have any suggestions to what you would like to see me played on uh, any of our nights uh, Monday night we're usually playing platform type games Wednesday nights we're playing things more in the VR realm and then on Friday nights we do things more in the story base section so uh, for those of you watching that we did a couple of Squaresoft titles uh, we did Rares Earthbound to get the new season started off and now we are doing Konami's Metal Gear Solid so yeah we'll probably find a good platform for Monday, but yeah, without saying too much more about it, you guys have a good rest, or no, yeah, rest of your weekend at this point, because there's only so many hours left to it, and we will see you guys, uh, we'll see you guys, have a great week, here on Gamer Addict Weekly.